when we come back a big shout out to a reviewer and my scent of the day stay tuned and yes guys i know i shaved it's okay all right so let's go ahead and get the formalities out of the way first and foremost if you are new to this channel or if you've been a long time watcher of this channel and not a subscriber go ahead and hit that red subscribe button make sure you ring the bell icon for notifications like these videos share these videos and be active in the comment section and if you think that's going to cost you something you're wrong it's not going to cost you anything so go ahead and subscribe and next up i know guys i did shave but you have to understand it is hot here in georgia it is too hot to be rocking that big behind beard i was rocking but when it starts to get cold again you best believe the beard is coming back so go ahead and get your laughs in i know the trolls are going to have something to say i know one person in particular kept trolling me in the beginning saying that i needed to shave I need to put on a shirt. I need to stop cursing and all this kind of stuff. Like he was my daddy or something. And I don't even know my daddy and he can't even tell me what to do. But anyway, um, with that being said, let's get to it. Now, first off, I want to give a shout out to Jakari Pikes, AKA JP Frags. Uh, I've mentioned him on this channel many different times. And this young man is just as generous as the you know majority of my true fan base or my true subscribers uh i had subscribers who was constantly sending me decants and samples and partial bottles and full bottles of fragrances and jakari is one of those also uh he's fairly new to fragcom but i think he saw one of my videos where i talked about a bentley fragrance and how there's a couple of them that i want to get my hands on and he sent me one and he sent me Bentley for men Silver Lake and it actually was supposed to have been here and something happened and I didn't get it until today so when I got home from work uh, I got a knock at the door they were dropping off mail and this is one of the things that they dropped off was my package the box itself was beat to hell and you know how it is when it comes to you know fedex and the u.s postal service and all that they don't take care of jack so you can see a little bit of damage to the box which isn't a big deal because i probably won't keep it anyway i don't keep a lot of boxes i just keep the more nice boxes not these like this um, but to me it's not about the box because that's not what you're going to be rocking you're going to be rocking the scent inside the bottle and for me i wasn't really interested when people were doing reviews of this fragrance when it first came out i really didn't care uh, my absolute favorite bentley fragrance is bentley for men intense in which it does get half and half it gets a lot of hate and a lot of love and i understand why it's too masculine too manly for some people and for some of us it's a perfect scent it is what it is this however shocked me this really surprised me downside to this you do have to give it a few seconds there is a heavy alcohol twinge to this when you first spray it i've sprayed this on my hand twice i'm not doing it again because i just tried to make this video and i forgot to plug my mic back up but um when, once that alcoholic twinge dies down this turns into a very beautiful fragrance and i love it I will waste a spray though, just in case those of you who have never seen these Bentley fragrances in person, you do get a metal cap. It's not a snug fit at all. It does pop right off. So be careful with that. If you're one of those people who like to pick bottles up from the cap, I don't do it. I don't care how secure it is, but not a bad atomizer. And it's a very 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 nice fragrance i'm i'm really surprised i'm really shocked 
I may just wear this tomorrow, but it depends. I really have to wear fragrances that will allow me to be able to go into the office. Uh, I have, I'm in shipping and receiving. I'm the only forklift operator and I have to go into the office to uh, confirm a lot of things that we're shipping and receiving. And um, certain fragrances bother the lady's nose. And what I had on today, which I'll get to in a minute, I stayed out of the office because I already knew. But this may also do the same thing. So I might have to stay out of the office or just wear something a little bit uh, less strong than this. But shout out to Jakari Pikes, man. JP Frags. I appreciate this, bro. So now, <clears throat> excuse me. I did a first impression on the house that I'm about to mention a while back. And I don't believe I've done any videos since then. Some of the fragrances that I picked are more for like fall and winter, not for spring and summer. And that's kind of what I was waiting on. But you know how my mind works. I like to test fragrances. I like to push fragrances. That's why I wear some of the weirdest things when I'm not supposed to. And this is one of them from the house of Okja. And I know there are going to be some people who don't like this company that when I said what the name of the fragrance is, they started, they neck went to moving and their eyes went to rolling in the back of their head and, oh, and they're going to tune out of this video. And that's fine because there are some people who don't know about this company or who do like this company that want to hear what I have to say. So for those of you who are interested, stick around. <clears throat> so the house of Okja. I reached out to this company and they were more than willing to ship me out several different fragrances and one fragrance in particular they kept trying to push me to get and I was trying to ignore them and just get what I wanted but they kept insisting so I said you know what I didn't see anything else I didn't want any more Creed Aventus clones and all that other stuff so I got what I wanted to test out and I got this one, which is the one they kept pushing. And the fragrance is called Sorcery. And if you saw my first impressions video when I got the package in, I kept saying Sorcerer or something like that. And I had to keep correcting myself. But that was a pretty funny video. Um, not a bad presentation when it comes to packaging. Uh, this does have like this magnetic ring right underneath and it does hold the box in place so I like that pretty sleek embroidery here on the box um, it's not really textured but it's a nice touch I like it um, crafted in New York on the back has Okja again on the side and that's about it and then inside it has something that you can read and i'm just going to read the first line it just says welcome to our world of fragrances and the rest you can read on your own if you choose to do so if you get any fragrances from them the bottle sits inside snugly there's a cutout where it sits and the bottle is nice one of the nicer bottles from an independent company um i like these bottles i don't like the fact that i can't see through it to see how much juice is left but it's a nice bottle has okja and their symbol sorcery here extract de parfum and it says the milliliter size which is one flow ounce or fluid ounce 30 ml and that is about it nothing on the back nothing on the bottom uh most of the caps on some of the other bottles are like a super super snug tight fit i do believe that some of these do wear down over time because this one isn't as bad it's a nice snug fit you can't hold it by the cap but i don't recommend that but others when you put pull the cap you have to pull it hard and it pops off and it almost feels like this ring around the atomizer is going to come off but 
other than that i don't have any complaints i did spray this on my hand in the last video as you can see the sheen the shine on my hand from the oil concentration i will waste another spray just to show you the atomizer not bad see it's fresh i love this scent there's no alcoholic twinge to this at all it's like a sweet tropical fruity kind of vibe you get from it it's a little floral it's nice i like it this is a unisex fragrance so a female can pull this off just in case there are some ladies who watch this video um i like this it just wasn't the opportune time for me to wear this in the heat it was like 90 something degrees however it did start it raining today and it did cool down some which made it a little bit more bearable for me because i work in a in a warehouse and we don't have ac we just have fans everywhere and it's still hot i'm sweating profusely and you know how sweet fragrances can sometimes come off a little clawing and that's what this one did but <coughs> excuse me i bear with it i got through the day i actually got about five to five and a half hours of longevity out of this projection on this was fantastic i got about three hours of good strong projection out of it which probably was too much for some people because y'all know me i spray seven sprays um aka mr seven spray and um that might have been overkill but it is what it is when it comes to me um let me give you some notes i did write some down uh you get vanilla tropical flowers ambergris indian rose and almond now nowhere in this fragrance do i pick up almond but that could just be my nose because all i smelled was the tropical flowers the the fruitiness that i get from this fragrance maybe the ambergris i do get the indian rose and a little bit of that vanilla but i love it i just love it y'all know how i am when it comes to sweet fragrances i'm a sucker for them uh these all come in a 30 ml size so don't go on the website thinking that you're going to get a 100 ml bottle of this because that's not plausible uh, it does say, like I said, it's unisex fragrance, and I knew that from first spray. Um, if you want to purchase any fragrances from them, the website will be down in the description. Um, if you want to buy a bottle straight up, it's $39.95 US dollars, or you can use Sizzle. And you can do four payments of $9.99. And that's not bad for somebody who doesn't want to spend a whole $40, $45, maybe, depending on how much it is for shipping and all that. Uh, definitely, you can pay what, like $10, I guess, every two weeks or weekly or however they break it down. It's, it just depends. Uh, I don't think that's bad at all, especially for what you're getting. You're getting a great presentation box and bottle wise um i don't have any complaints i will however say this i have had people complain in the comment section not only in the video or, or the uh post i posted this morning on instagram and facebook um i think it was mostly on instagram and my first impressions video um i had people say that they had issues with their uh order and when they tried to reach back out to Okja, they couldn't get in touch with anybody from customer service. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I haven't had any issues with Okja myself, but I haven't had any issues with any of their fragrances that I have anyway. So I had no reason to call call and talk to anybody. Um, my bottles are okay. I'm not, they're not leaking, they're not broken. So, I mean, I can't vouch for nothing else. Um, but with that being said, I know there are going to be people out there who don't want to try Okja. I know there are people out there who don't like clone houses, period. I know there are people who don't want to deal with certain 
companies or independents. I get that. So if you're one of those people who don't like Okja or clone houses, then maybe this video wasn't for you. And I'm sorry that you had to sit through it. Well, I'm really not sorry, but it is what it is. Um, that's about all I have for you all. So if you have any familiarity with Okja or any fragrances from Okja, let me know in the comment section whether you liked them, whether you didn't like them, whether you want to try them, whether you don't want to try them. If you had any issues with the house of Okja, let me know in the comment section. I love to hear it. So with that being said, here is to smelling great. Peace, y'all.